In doing your drawing for your scratch board, you're going to be using some of the sketched letters that we've been working on in our first day or so, and then you're going to use the symbols graphic organizer as well, because those are the symbols that you're going to use to represent you. Now, there's a paper that looks like this, and it has two blocks on it. They're five inches by seven inches, so if you're at home and you're looking, you don't have this paper, you can still do this drawing. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to fold this because we only need to do one of them. And this is like the final drawing that later we'll be attaching our scratch board to. And it's, so it's going to be a symbolic self-portrait that's going to start with our letters. So I'm going to first put, and you can go either direction, this way or this way, whatever fits better for your letters. And I'm going to do mine vertically like this. And the first thing to go on here are the letters. So I'm looking at this style and how I have my letters put together. And I'm going to draw from that as I'm doing this. And I'm going lightly so that if I need to make any errors or corrections, I can if I have an error. And I'm using that sort of setup of how they go together. So there's my J. And here's my P that I connected on the side. And I'm going to put my G on the inside of this. So the first thing that has to go on here in decent size is your letters. The next thing, and they cannot be just a basic block. I want them to be interesting. So hopefully you look through some of the lettering guides that I've provided or you got online and looked there and you figured out a way to sort of piece them together. Here my J and my P are sharing the same line and then it's just holding my G and I'm going to actually make my G a little more angled. And it doesn't matter if you have erases and erase marks on this thing because you're going to be transferring from this paper to your scratch board. Okay, so I've got there. Now I'm going to look through my symbols and I'm going to start putting my symbols on here. What I don't want to do is I don't just want to pepper them around the outside. I don't want to just put symbols like they're floating in space. I'm going to start looking <coughs> and I'm going to make mine sort of like anchored in a beach. So I'm going to put, you know, a line here where my letter is and I'm going to actually erase the corner of my letter. I'm going to put it on a little bit closer so that it looks like my letter is sort of sticking into the sand right here. All right, so that's, and now we're going to say that this is beach. Now, I'm going to look up on my computer for a source drawing to do um, some palm trees, and I already have that, and I'm looking at a source image so that I'm not just drawing like what's in my head, I'm looking at something. And, and the way my source says to draw this, I did a step-by-step, -step, and it's like here will be this, because I love to go to the beach, and I used to go to Florida every year to visit my dad, and we would go, there's beautiful palm trees all over, so it was like one of my favorite places and vacations that I'm representing here. Okay, and I might do more than one, like I might do a smaller tree here. In fact, I think I will, and I'll let it overlap my letter here where it's resting on the ground. Um, so I'm going to put a small one right here. So it's good to have things like that are overlapping and layered as well as like sitting inside and around. So this one overlaps. Okay, so there's my palm trees. Now I'm going to do, I really love music. So I'm actually going to make music look like it's coming out of the end of my letter, almost like it would be an instrument. And I'm going to let it flow off the page. So I'm going to do lines of music. And I could do this a couple of ways, but I kind of want to do something that will have some movement around the page. And here it's like, as it's wrapping at the top, it's going to maybe pass underneath. So I'm going to do this, passes under, and then comes out on the other side. And I'm going to alter the end of my letter so it sort of fits that, which is totally fine. And here I'm going to break this up. And I'm going to have to look at some sheet music, so I'm going to bring some up. And I'm going to put on some musical notes and different 
things that I'm pulling from sheet music so I'm not so it doesn't look like I'm just completely making it up I want to have a reference okay now I'm gonna do so there's my love of music I'm gonna do footprints and I have five dogs so I'm gonna do like sort of a series of footprints in the sand and they're gonna represent my five dogs so I'm gonna do five of them so one two three to be a little bigger four like almost like it's we're seeing it tracking through there and five here so <coughs> the other thing is <coughs> excuse me I'm not worried about scale like I'm not worried that obviously these footprints are almost as big as my tree I'm not worried about that I'm just worrying about trying to put this together in sort of a creative way and so there's my, my five paws that represent each of my dogs I really want them to look how I want them to look. And then I love the Steelers because I'm from Pittsburgh. So part of representing that is I'm going to do my Steeler diamonds coming down the middle of my letter. So sometimes I'm using the letter and I'm adding my symbols as pattern inside. My birthday is on the 13th. So here I'm going to draw, you know, my number. I'm not doing it in stick lettering and I'm not doing a bunch of words I'm representing everything through symbols and I'm going to do a football in here because I love to watch football with my family that's something we do together um, and let's see so to represent my mom who loved horses now she's since passed away she had cancer so I'm going to represent her maybe with a cancer ribbon you know like the and I'm going to put that in here. It's going to start first as like a stick design, but I want to make it thick. So I'm going to, if I need to, I'm going to look at a source when I do this. Because one of the, one of the sides needs to overlap and sit on top. So again, though, not a stick letter. We're making it have some thickness to it. And let's see, I'm going to put my cell phone in here. Because when I think about those things, so my cell phone is going to be sort of stuck out of the sand. And it's going to be big so I can tell what it is maybe I'll even put like an app on it like you know put some little boxes on here and I love to draw and paint so in this part of my letter I'm going to put a paintbrush and it's going to pass behind there and then it, as it comes out I'm going to let it look like it's sort of painting almost like it's painting that sand on there there's the ferrule and I love to read so maybe over here in the sand I'm going to do like a book that's laying open and I was born in the fall so and I was born at night like I was born in the middle of the night so I'm going to put a moon up here and maybe some cool little stars and I look these up online I want to do my Libra symbol and I've got a spot right here that's gonna go here so as Libra is my astrological symbol and let's see I want to represent my dad too so my dad is going to be represented with like a saw blade and I'm gonna do that maybe coming out no I'm gonna do the saw blade actually connected to the moon where I'm going to do the blade pieces itself on the outside of my moon. So let's see how many symbols I've got. So I've got my letters and then symbols, bare minimum, I need to have 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I have 13. I have more than enough, but I don't want to leave any areas empty. So I've got an empty spot here. And in here, I'm going to put, I was raised on a farm, so I'm going to put a horseshoe into this spot. And maybe I'll put my pumpkin for fall in here, into this spot. And I think that would probably do it. So there is the design phase. And at this point, you would photograph and submit this into the drawn element for your scratch board.